Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to do a uh, collection update and kind of show you what I got. So we'll just start off right here with, uh, let's see, little first baby. Alright, so there's a sterling male I picked up this year. Um, it's kind of small, but he eats great. Has a little attitude. Real excited. I, I love that patternless look. I've got a female I'll show you here in a little bit um, that I'm going to pair him with. Alright, here is a Aztec, Annery Aztec, um, Coupes Pastel, um, Het Snow, Het Kyle Albino. So I produced that one this year, decided to hang on to her for a while. Here's my uh, Coupes Red Pastel uh, Arabesque BPI. So she really stood out from the beginning uh, of the litter. And she just got some crazy colors. So definitely keep her. Really an awesome looking animal. And pick this one up from a buddy of mine. Uh, it's a Sun Glow VPI Het Snow uh, for future breedings. It's got a nice look. He's got a little white spot right there on his head. I always think there's a drop of water there, but it's just a white spot. Pretty cool. All right, here is the uh, brother to that uh, VPI. Um, arabesque female and he turned out the opposite he just got he started off pink but now he's getting really light kind of almost like a snow I mean he's really light so he's pretty cool um, this I got from a buddy of mine never remember what it is it's monster tell pastel something I've got it written down but it's just got some great uh, colors it's got jungle in it I think it has like maybe summit pastel or something like that but he just outstanding looks great so that's for future breeding here's my coops uh, uh, still Aztec female. Um, she's actually up for sale. She just hasn't sold yet. But if I don't sell her, I will keep her. And then here's a uh, hypo head albino head stripe tail. And uh, yeah, he's a fireball. So. You can see that stripe on him, um, so hopefully uh, his father, anytime I bred uh, his father to anything with a hypo, it came out striped. So whether it was head striped or not, so hopefully the same will be true for him. Oh, let's see, that one's sold. Here's my uh, other... Oops. Aztec, just really outstanding pattern and colors on this boy. I'm gonna pair him up to a flamingo hypo someday and get some syntax. Here is a Coops Pastel Het VPI Aztec I produced. Now. I threw a male in uh, with my VPI female after the arabesque breader, and so I got one Aztec out of the litter, so that was kind of cool. It came out really cool colors. Really nice pattern. Let's see. This is another one I picked up from a buddy of mine, um, Het VPI, <coughs> Het Annery. So just for future breeding. Had a really cool, has a cool tail. And kind of just like a really funky pattern. So, 
And my last Motley uh, I had this year. Head stripe tail, head albino. Really nice tail stripe. Can't believe he didn't sell. If he don't sell, I keep him. All right, so that's all of those. Let me go get to the big rack here. Hold on. All right. First up is my fire male, who was supposed to be a female, but he got the job done this year. Um, he's kind of got an attitude most days, but he's acting pretty good today. And then, um, who's next? This is my uh, Snow Motley male. He's, uh, we'll see if he's proven this year or not. He's bred a bunch of females, but he's just never produced anything. So, hopefully this year. Um, this one's in shed. It's my Argentine male. He will get to pair up with the female next year. And let's see here. Let's see here. Okay, this is my uh, Flamingo Line Hypo Het Albino male. So this is the one that I bred to, let's see. Hopefully that Junglo Motley female. And I, her brother, his brother, bred the Arabesque. So I kept two of those back from the litter. There's my Flamingo Hypo female, but she's in shed. She's got the most just dark reds when she's not in shed. Too bad she's in shed. All right, who's this? Oh, that's his brother, Flamingo Hypo Head Albino. Right there, he's in shed. Uh, nobody in there. And then he's eating. There's my Sunglow male. She's taking a while to eat. Here's a uh, one eyed Sunglow female that I kept. Uh, from a couple years ago. She's doing great. She did get an infection in her nose um, where that eye is missing. Took her to the vet and we treated it and it actually went away, so surprised. Uh, this is that uh, Het Sterling female that I have for that Sterling male. She's Het Sterling and Het Annery, so. And she. It's not very nice. Uh, another one eye snake, but great colors on this little guy. Just an albino. Um, I think he's had striped tail too. So I just can't get rid of the one eyed ones for some reason. I like them too much. Hopefully, I won't get any this year. Um, there's the Lucy Colombian Rainbow Boa male. He's really chill. He's laid back. He's got cool blue eyes. Uh, another Colombian female. She might have bred. I, I didn't see it, but she's been laying on the heat, so maybe. There's uh, Hypo Motley uh, Jungle male. Just one from a few years ago that just stuck around with me. He's never bred anybody. Uh, let's see. An Aztec male. I put some water in with him. It's Coop's uh, Aztec. Head nothing. No, he's head anery. But not head albino. I did find that out. Ooh, forgot to put water in it him too. Here's my um, IMG Sunglow Motley, and he's the one that bred that jungle female. So uh, he did a good job. He's tiny, but he got the job done. Hopefully, it's all sperm plugs on her. So here's my uh, 
IMG Motley, Albino Motley. Here, let me get her out. Come here, girl. Yep, don't go in there. Pick the head over here. No. You can see how white she's getting all down through there. There's an IMG albino. And I got a lot of IMGs from this later still. And then here's a IMG Flamingo Hypo. She's really starting to darken up. And then IMG Hypo Motley. These are all possible head uh, albino. She's starting to darken up. Alright. And her sister, same thing. IMG Hypo Motley. All flamingo line. And she's, not, she's not as dark as her sister, but she's still got a lot of that dark on her face. And then one more litter, a sibling from that litter. Flamingo hypo possible head. She's got that nice orange hypo look. All right, and that's all in that rack. So let me get to the big cages. All right, first one is uh, just a normal and she's het albino, but she has a lot of dark on her, like her tail is really black, so I held her back to pair her to an IMG, get as black as I can. She's doing well, she's moved up to large rats, so she should really start growing fast. And there's my gravid arabesque, and my gravid motley, and my gravid Pet PPI female and my Argentine female that is in shed. She should go next year. She's getting big. Sun Glow female. Now she might have taken, I don't think so, but she's been laying on the heat for a while. We'll see. And then my Motley female. And then my IMG male. He likes to hang out up on the shelf. All right. And I got up here, I got this crazy girl right here. She's uh, a ghost hit. Albino. So hopefully I'll pair that mot motley up to her someday. Hypo motley female that's gravid. And then jungle of motley that's gravid. Here's my uh, DPIs. See if I can open this door. Oh, she smells that rat. That's what she smells. She wants to eat. Yep. I'm gonna open it after all. All right. We've got a jungle male down there. Full stripe on him. Let's see. I got a stripe line albino arabesque right here. She's getting big. And then I got my albino motley female that's getting really big. She's got some cool colors on her. Then my sun glow het Annery 
Hit Snow female. I uh, picked this girl up this year, Red Panther. Jungle Hypo Hit VPI. Her sister had some really killer babies striped and all. But uh, she didn't go for me. Cage is empty. I've got this one. I've got this girl here. She's just a really good looking normal. She's het uh, albino. So I kept her because of that tail. Just a gorgeous tail. Alright. And there's the two Colombian rainbows that are grabbed. The jungle female that's gravid. And then my hypo motley female that's gravid. And then last is the rainbow boas. I've got three in here. One is proven, the other two. I'm not sure if I have two males or one male, two females. I think I have two males and one female, but we'll see. No breeding on them yet. So anyway, that's my collection update. Um, as soon as babies start dropping, I'll be posting more. Thanks for watching. Take care.